Hi there, in this video we're going to learn how to subtract linear expressions. When subtracting linear expressions, um, well, you follow these steps. <laughs> there are a lot of steps here. Um, I don't want you to panic though. <laughs> uh, they will be written out throughout every example and by the time we get to the end of the video, um, you will all or should all be pros at this. So I have 7x minus 5 minus 2x minus 1 as my first example. Um, according to the first step, it says pretend like that negative sign is actually, uh, or sorry, pretend like that minus sign is actually a negative 1. So the sign that I'm talking about is this one right here. Um, I'm going to pretend like there is a negative, whoa, I don't know why that came up like that. I'm going to pretend like that is um, a negative 1. Then I'm going to uh, follow the second step. It says distribute the negative 1 into the second part. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, negative 1 times 2. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And then I'm just going to bring everything else down. Next it says rewrite the expression. Um, well, we kind of already rewrote it right here. We rewrote this to be this. They are both the same exact thing. Um, some of you guys, you see this minus five. You see this minus five. You see this minus two x, and you like writing plus uh, negative five, plus negative two x. You can do that if you want um, during this step. However, I'm just gonna continue on uh, like this. So it says add my variables or combine my like terms. At this point. You can combine your like terms. So um, I have 7x. Oop. I have a 7x here, and I have a negative 2x. Now remember, whatever sign is in front of the number, um, or whatever sign, yeah, is in front of the number. That is your. Um, think of the this is being glued to the number here, the term here. Okay, the terms are 7x and negative 2x, okay? 7x plus negative 2x, and you end up getting 5x. All I did was combine my x's. Positive 7x plus negative 2x is equal to 5x. Now I'm going to combine my constants. It says add your constants, so that's what I'm going to do now. Negative 5 plus 1 gets me negative 4. So um, my final expression is actually 5x minus 4. This is my answer right here. Um, and here I just wrote pay attention to your signs. Just make sure you pay attention to those signs. Please, please, please. Um, this is a 7x plus negative 2x. This is a negative 5 plus positive 1. Okay? Let's try that again. In our next example here, we have uh, 6x minus 4 minus 2x minus 4. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend like this minus over here is actually a negative 1. Then I'm going to distribute. Um, negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. And then I'm just going to bring everything else down. Now again, at this step, you can rewrite it to be 6x plus negative 4 plus negative 2x plus 4. Or if you can just combine your like terms uh, using this, you can do that. Remember, think of these um, minuses as negatives now. So we have a 6x this is our term, 6x, and this is our term, negative 2x. So now, 6x plus negative 2x is 4x, and then we have this negative 4 plus 4, which is 0. So our final expression is just 4x. Okay? Um, if you notice, um, just recapping uh, the steps again, I pretended like this is a negative 1, 
Then I distributed the negative 1 into this expression here. Then I just rewrote the expression uh, as an addition sentence or just, just as a... Um, just as another expression here. You could rewrite it as an addition sentence. Um, however you want to do it. Add your variables. So I have 6x plus negative 2x to get 4x. Add my constants. It says negative 4 plus 4 to get 0. And then it says pay attention to my signs, which is what I did. All right. Uh, here's another example. I have x minus 5. Uh, minus 2x minus 1. First thing I'm going to do is pretend like that minus sign is actually negative 1. So let's do that. Next thing I'm going to do is distribute. Negative 1 times 2x is negative, oops, negative 2x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1. And then I'm just going to bring everything else down. And now here at this step, um, you could either rewrite the expression as an addition sentence, or you can just um, follow um, that these minuses are glued to your terms, okay? Um, so I'm going to um, combine my like terms first. I'm going to combine my uh, variables. I have an x here, which is actually like saying 1x. And then I have this minus 2x here, negative 2x. So I have x plus negative 2x. 1 plus negative 2 is actually um, negative 1x. And then I have, um, I have this negative 5 plus 1, which is negative 4. Okay, this is my final expression here. Um, and I did remember to pay attention to my signs. Okay, here's another example. We have 6m plus 3 minus um, negative 4m minus 1. Why don't you um, pause the video and try to do this on your own? Okay, by now you should have uh, already paused the video and done this on your own. Um, this is the work that I showed for it, and I'm going to go through it now. Um, it says here, in our first step, pretend like the minus sign is actually a negative 1. So that's what I did here. I put that negative 1. Then it says distribute negative 1 into the second part. Negative 1 times negative 4m is positive 4m. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And then I'm just going to bring this expression down here, or this part of the expression down here. Now I have uh, 6m plus 3 plus 4m plus 1. Now I'm going to add my variables or combine like terms. I have 6m plus 4m to get 10m. Then I have a 3 plus 1 to get 4. So my final answer um, is this right here, 10m plus 4. All right, and last but not least, um, we have a word problem. It says the expression 8x plus 48.75 uh, represents a total amount of money the soccer team earned from selling t-shirts, or sorry, from selling x t-shirts. Um, if the team had to pay 2x plus $24 in expenses, write an expression to represent their profit. So this is what I did. Um, I have total minus expenses, right? So this is your total, 8x plus 48.75 minus the expenses, minus uh, 2x plus 24. So now we actually have to go through subtracting these. So I have a minus. I'm going to actually make that um, a negative 1. Then I'm going to distribute. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times 24 is um, negative 24. And then I'm just going to bring down the other part of this problem right here. 8x plus 48.75. Okay, 
Next, I'm going to combine my like terms, starting with my variables. I have 8x my, uh, plus negative 2x. 8x plus negative 2x is 6x. And then I have um, positive 48.75 uh, plus a negative 24. which ends up um, getting me 24.75, positive 24.75, I should say. So um, this right here would be my expression, 6x plus 24.75. This is my uh, expression to represent my profit. Um, in other words, how much money did you make, uh, you know, after your expenses here, this. All right, and then it says, if the soccer team sold 54 t-shirts, what was their profit? Well, if X is what t-shirts are, um, well, let's figure it out. Let's just plug in um, 54 for X. Uh, so I just do um, 6 times 54. Um, you know what, I don't want to make that times an X, just so that I don't confuse anybody. So I'm going to say 6 times 54 um, plus 24.75. Again, I just got this from here. All I did was plug in 54 for X because that's the number of t-shirts sold. Um, and then if I just go across, um, five times, or sorry, six times 54 is 324, um, plus 24.75, I end up getting my answer to be 348.75. So in other words, the soccer team would have made, um, $300, or sorry, $348.75 uh, as their profit if they sold um, 54 t-shirts. All right, some concluding thoughts. Um, remember to distribute uh, the invisible negative one. Pay attention to adding and subtracting your positive and negatives, please. Don't forget your rules. Um, and make sure you write everything out. Um, you know, if you look at all my work, you see I wrote everything out. So just make sure that you do the same thing because otherwise you're going to end up getting confused. All right, I hope you learned how to subtract um, linear expressions.